This is a case of murder. Murder seven times over. This is John Weber. He's been asked to defend you. Been asked to, but I don't particularly want to. Why don't you go home? Because your case is so bad, no one else will take it. I read in your file that you were a warder in the prison service. I suggest you find out what's in store for you. Ask them what happens on death row. 164 men were executed last year. I know what happens on death row. What was that all of the executions? He dragged the bodies over there and then he lined them up. He lined up the bodies? Why would he do that? These warders, they get to know the men that they're going to hang. Anything worse than killing a stranger is killing someone you know. They threw this boy into hell at 17. <laughs> now he can't speak a word to defend himself. The quarry, what occurred there? I can't remember. That man must pay for what he's done. Two years ago, you were a school prefect. You were a husband and father. And now here you are on trial for murder. How did that happen? What did you experience on your first day at Maximum? Were you ever screened or assessed in any way to ensure you were suitable for this work? It must have made you feel important and powerful knowing that you could kill and not be prosecuted for it. I can't get through to him unless I know what's going on inside his head. Tell us what happened, the reasons you fired those shots. Why didn't you talk to the warrant officer about seeking help? A psychiatrist could have helped you! Why didn't you tell me before I started hurting my wife? Before I lost everything? Before I killed seven people? That is enough! Why didn't you tell me?! You cannot ask a man to be both shepherd and butcher at the same time.